Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This has been such a long time coming. Thank you guys for being here. Just gonna give you a little forewarning. This is likely going to be the most emotional video I've ever done. <laughs> Got a lot of things to talk about and what I'm talking about, I am extremely, extremely passionate about. And I'm sure that'll translate through what I'm about to tell you guys, but this has been a long time coming. And it's something that has been on my heart for years and years and years and years, though my goals have changed just a little bit and we'll get into that in a second. Again, this, this announcement is kind of a pivotal point in my journey. In competitive kayak fishing, I've kind of accomplished a lot. Everything that, you know, I, I could have dreamed of more. I've been the first female to ever crack the top three in a national kayak tournament. I went on to be the first female to ever win a national kayak tournament. First female to ever qualify for Hobie Worlds, and I've done that three times. First female to ever win the Tournament of Champions. I've, I've done a lot of of big things there and I couldn't be more more proud and grateful for those experiences. For those of you that have followed me for a long period of time, you will know that I'm not one to stay too comfortable too long. I thrive off of having new challenges and not just new challenges, but particularly difficult, if not seemingly unattainable challenges. I mean, I'm a musky angler, y'all. Of course, we, of course we like that type of stuff, you know? I am motivated and I thrive off of new, very difficult challenges. And that being said, I feel like the Bassmaster Opens are kind of the pinnacle of the competitive world of bass fishing. They boast the toughest competition out there. I think that just having that female representation in that field is huge. Just showing that you can fish them and regardless of how you do, regardless of all of that, that you can't quit. You gotta stick it out. So that being said, I am excited to announce that I am getting into a boat. I am getting into the brand new Ranger Alpha 208. It's an aluminum boat. I felt like that was a super organic transition for me being in the competitive kayak space for nine years now into something that, you know, if you guys have followed me, I fished the Bassmaster Opens as a co-angler the last few years. A lot of you knew that I was kind of dipping my toes into that to kind of see how that world worked. And there was a reason behind that. You know, I've had a lot of people, brands, professional anglers, et cetera, that have wanted me to jump in and fish the open saying that you know they believe that i can do this and what i really wanted to tell y'all is that, that over the years my goal in all of this has really really shifted i used to to have this very self-centered i used to have this very you know kind of, i, I want to say i want i want to say this very you know self-centered goal of me being this first female to break through the bassmaster elites win the bassmaster classic all of these very lofty achievements but you guys over the years that I guess my vision I guess my perspective and my goals have shifted a little bit and I've realized that this is so much bigger than me and what I truly want is to help inspire and influence and be part of a, have a huge collective movement to get more women into the sport into the competitive scene because I truly believe that it can happen and that we can be successful on that level what I want is to show all of the little girls out there that if they dream something, no matter how unachievable, no matter if it hasn't ever been done before, they can do it. That is my goal in this. It's, it's not, my goal is not to be the first female to do this or the first female to do that. It's just to help inspire the next gal who hopefully can. And I guess in short, I do have a goal of qualifying for the Best Master Classic. Every single year I go to that show, I'm ugly crying in the stands just dreaming that one day I might be able to walk across that stage. And what's even bigger than that is that I feel like if we can have a female qualify through the Opens and do that, every little every little girl every high school or college or even women my age in those stands if they see that happen it might spark something in them to make them believe that they can do it too if i can qualify they can win it and i guess that's really my my goal is that it, there's so much power in just seeing women do this and seeing them stick it out regardless of the obstacles that are there 
Y'all, the best way I can explain it is I recently got into women's college basketball because of Caitlin Clark and her Gatorade commercial. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It shows her playing basketball and then it switches to a little girl playing basketball. And she says, if I can drain 50, you can drain 60. If I can bring, or if we can bring 50,000, you can bring 65,000. You know, if I can sign with Gatorade, you can do it too. And that's kind of my whole vision for this. If, and that's my whole vision for women's fishing also. Is if, if by the grace of God, if I can qualify for the Bassmaster Classic, you can win it. I just personally pray that that day it happens where that, for, where that girl wins the Bassmaster Classic, that I'm still here on this earth and I will be front row bawling my eyes out. That's what I want to see. And I believe it can be done. And I just am fortunate to get to be able to play a very small role in helping move that along. There's been so many amazing women throughout the history of bass fishing that have really helped be a part of this, to grow this, to make it seem like this goal is attainable. Um, Pam Martin Wells, Kim Baines, Trait, Christina Bradley, Janet Parker. I mean, there's been so many. And that's really the biggest reason that I'm moving from what I'm very good at, what I'm very comfortable in, what doesn't require a, a huge risk on my part to jump into this world that is going to, I'm going to be stripped of all of that because I want people to understand that if I can do it, so can you. If I can not quit, if I can keep going and keep pushing, I just want them to know that they can do it too. And I've got a lot of questions revolving around that. I think one of the biggest things I want to tell people that have followed and supported me is I, I'm going to feel a little bit of pressure. It's not pressure that I'm putting on myself, but there's a lot of people that, again, have kind of painted me as this person that can break through and do this. Y'all, the Opens are so dang hard. They are so dang tough. They're, these kids now and these guys, all they do is live and breathe bass fishing. Relationships or kids or any of that and... You know, sometimes I think, I, I question myself if I've got that level of commitment that it's going to take to break through the opens. And I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to give it my best shot. Hope that you guys are patient with me and, you know, just can support and encourage me through this regardless, you know, how that goes. Because I, I can tell you right now, I'm going to get my butt kicked. And that's okay. I can get my teeth kicked in and get back up. I've got, I've acquired some pretty thick skin being in this game for a long time. And honestly, I need, I need that. I need that level of competition right now because I've kind of think I've got a little stagnant the last few years. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make this video to hopefully paint the picture of what the bigger goal here of what I'm really trying to do with this and what I, what I really want to see when I believe in my heart is possible. And I know that there's a bunch of little girls out there that are going to be able to do this. And I'm rooting for you and I'm proud of you. And I'm just hoping that everything I do, I can be the best role model I can possibly be for y'all because you deserve it. And there'll be a couple questions I know people are asking if I'm leaving kayak fishing. No, you guys, I will. I'm always going to fish kayak tournaments. Kayak fishing was a huge part of who I am. It's a huge part of why I got here. Being in the kayak taught me how to be independent out on the water, how to find my own fish, how to read water, how to break down water, how to make the right decisions and methodically and meticulously pick apart an area. I love kayak fishing. I love the community. I will still fish kayak tournaments. I will be shifting some focus to the boat side, but no, I will not be leaving kayak fishing. I think that's the biggest question that I've, uh, I've got. If you guys have any more questions, drop them in the comments. I will try to get back to them. I have, I'll have a lot of stuff coming on the boat, information on the boat, all that kind of stuff that you guys. So if you have any of those questions or comments, just please let me know. So if you have any of those questions, comments, anything, let me know. I will have some videos coming. I've been in the boat twice now. <laughs> so I, I honestly feel way more comfortable than I thought I was going to. Casting angles are I'm picking up really quickly. Driving the boat's a breeze. The trolling motor has been a bit of a challenge, but we're going to figure that out. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know where my perspective and, and what I, why I'm doing this, what my goals are. And my goals are actually so much bigger than me. I am not making this about me. I think a couple years ago, 
I probably would have. And that may be the mindset you need to have to, to break through and make the elites. I'm just not sure. But I'm not sure that's my role in this yet. So we will see what God has in this for all of me. And I know that it's going to be an interesting journey. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. It's a huge step. It's really exciting. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> but I just couldn't be more grateful for everything and for just being able to be here. So again, you guys, I appreciate y'all. I hope that, uh, hope that you guys don't think less of me for crying. I've had a pretty emotional morning in a good way, just thinking about all of this and the bigger picture. So again, you guys, I love y'all. I appreciate you so much. Any comments, drop them below and there's much more to come on this. Well, what did you think? That was pretty cool. How much gas do you think I burned there? Is that like $20? Uh, no, it actually <laughs> says uh, 1.9 is the total that we've burnt since we've been out. So wow, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all, 1.9 yeah, gallons. Very smooth, very comfortable. It wasn't, I mean, I felt like it was very easy to drive, which is great.